following contest is for the CR Fire Pro Road Junior Heavyweight Championship. Making her way to the ring, she is the happy slice of line. Kiera Skybreaker. And making his way to the ring, the current reigning and defending CR Fire Pro Road Junior Heavyweight Champion. From parts unknown, representing retribution and one half of the underbridge, he releases pride. Ecuador Oboro! Your referee for this match, Yana Two Jiggy. I can't help it. Like I gotta get it out. <laughs> oh my goodness! Before this, I did the intro. I'm just gonna call. I'm just. I'm just gonna call it out because it's funny to me. I did the intro. I was all set and ready, and they wrestling at like hyper speed. <laughs> and I forgot to recalibrate the the speed of the game. So. <laughs> It messed my head up. But look, oh man, getting into this, let's just get into this match. Uh, so, Kiara comes in at rank one. Why? Because Akira Serula got a win over Ecuador Lobero. And that was a couple of weeks ago. Last week, at, on Verge, Kiara Skybreaker got the win over Akira Serula. So that pushes Ecuador Lobero down to rank three, and Kiera is up there at rank one. And if she can win this belt back, she can she can stay at rank one. Man, them corner clotheslines. We've seen him. Uh, he 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 injured Tigress with those clotheslines, and that uh, and that was a hit job orchestrated, uh, well paid for by uh, life and death of reality. And because of that, the Queens of the Jungle never got a chance to defend the CR Fire Pro Tag Team Champions uh, Championship. They never got a chance to defend that, but that's but they are up there on the uh, frame placard uh, during the title intro. So that's why they're there. You never got a chance to see them defend because of reality pain, Ecuador to hurt. So there you go. And. That's what got Plush started in on life, and that that lasted a while. That lasted almost a year. Uh, stalking Fury against uh, Reality. The tag team of the faction. The answer is yes. <laughs> tag team and faction of the same name. So no, they don't want to give up the name. You know, we were Kaiju, and I was, you know, just. We were DWA, and then once we got members, more members, people wanted to join us. Became we just shorted team D team DWA. Give up. Give we got that half crab on, but she got out. <laughs> We've seen Kiera's epic matches against Silverana. We've seen them against Tiny Mouse. 180 spawn Buster by Ecuador Obro. Hip toss by Skybreaker. Irish whip, elbow. Stomp by Kier. She says it's over. Who the Kravana infiltrator? That's one of her finishes. Only a two count. She hit that early. And she messed up Soberana with that. But Soberana, you know, I, she fought, but she didn't win the match. Man. Jarring body shots, but she got the spinning heel kick. She's coming off those ropes, and then she. Oh! Riding bomb! Two! Just got the shoulder up. Arm drag. Got him up. There we go. Back drop. New fan style back drop, but not his primary. And crucifix, no! Thought she had him down. She got a double arm DDT by Ecuador. And goes for the pin. Telling the rep to get over there. 
And she just got the shoulder up. They're, they're going to battle Ace Crusher. That's, that's one of his problems. But they ain't the ropes. Yeah, they ain't the ropes. He gets that close line. Slap. Turns him around. Down to Giddy. Put him down. Got him. Reverse Boston Crab. Happy slice of lime wants that belt back. Four. Ooh, body blow. Man, diving sent on, but he's not getting up to follow it up. Oh, he's on Dream Street. She can take advantage of it. No, he count he counters quickly. Suplex. Rolls over. Snap suplex. Rolled over on her abdomen, so she can't see it coming. Diving knee drop to the small of the back. Now it goes for the pin. Two, three, and got That was brutal. The winner of the match is still Cell Fire Pro Road Junior Heavyweight Champion, the Extra Bull Oboro. Man, what was up with that knee? That was, that was kind of epic. What, you know, that, that knee drop. I mean, he made sure she couldn't see and then nailed it right, well, nailed it right in the back. Probably at the floating ribs. I don't know, but it was it was brutal. Look, we got two more matches. We got Ralphman in action next. So can he gain? We'll see. So let's keep the crown on the champion. And let's roll. The following contest for the CR Fire Pro World Heavyweight Championship. Making his way to the ring, representing Retribution, and one half of the Yonder Bridge, he's the god of all legends, Ralphman Boromada. Making her way to the ring, the current reigning and defending CR Fire Pro World Heavyweight Champion. Representing the lair in one half of the tag team cold eyes. The referee for this match. Quintessa Moreta. All right, everybody. Uh, look, I gave Ice just one thing of advice. Don't take it personal. <laughs> Ralph Maboromada has had and has had like the longest destructive robbery with Tree of Mad, which is Ice's sister and Sickle's aunt. So, it's uh the lair has been angry with Ralph. I mean angry not with retribution, not with anyone else in it, just Ralph. And he's a former champion, former heavyweight champion. So, something I feel like something was running on him. Former heavyweight uh champion on the road. And he's coming in at rank three because G Rock is rank two. And since G Rock is tag champion, uh, you know, he can't he can't go for this. Oh, that little kick to the to the leg. Ralphman has it got to the point where Trib Mask could not beat Ralphman. Ralphman went on to, I mean right before he could have claimed victory and got the the title sidar put him out knocked him out concussed him um a, a uh, one of the discs in his neck uh was it was like one of those it was knocked out of place and then it snapped right back in so it wasn't pushed out far enough that happened with me with my shoulder uh you know quite some years ago got uh, knocked out of socket and it was like it just popped back in on his own real quick and he's gonna work on the arms he's gonna work on the head mm. stiff shot that 
was a stiff chop, but Ice was like, I don't even care. I'm like, look, Ice, just do what brought you to the dance and got you that belt and just win. That's what I told him, just win. Man, he took that kick to the chest. He just, he just ate it. He just ate it. He's trying that, that dashing lariat. The dashing short range lariat, to be a little more exact. Stomach claw. He mushed her off. He's got her up. No! She reverses. Suplex to the outside. He tumbles. And she's going to give chase. I don't know about that. And he got her up. No, she reverses. He cannot Six. suplex her, it seems. Seven. And Stomach Claw with no ropes to break. He just got the deal. Nine. Got to push. Yeah, he mushes her off. Eleven. She wants him in the ring. I would have I would have went for a count out. I would have went for the count out. And he got that you know, arm, the vertical arm bar, but you know, she got out. Elbow to the back. He's got her up. Come by elbow. And, and the kick to the chest. Knocks him down this time. Stomach claw. And, and Ralph would pretty much like to get this belt back. I'm sure. And just as much ice. I don't even think she cares to keep it. She just don't want him to have it. Like, you know that thing where you can lose to anyone. Just not them. Man, he is lucky he didn't catch that spinning back fist. And... And you got that, you yep, know, it's a top wrist lock. You know, not for long. Side head lock, cranking on it in the ropes. Ice being larger, she's stronger. She's stronger than he is. I don't know how about much, but new elbow to the small of the back. Ooh, nice short range Larry. But new elbow, they are whittling her down. Ooh, she got the iron claw for the pin. And he, he gets out of it. He got the shoulder up and had to mush her off. The hammer throw. He got in the corner. Close line. Throwing that arm. Two, three, four. She gets up. Ready to fight. And he got her up. Suplex. Floats over. Holds it. And she kicks out. Smack her right across the face, too. Side headlock. Ralphman's on his game. Ice is going to have to fight back. I mean, like, with a severity she's not showing. And we know she's got a dangerous repertoire. But he is nullifying it. Come on now, the ref saw that. The whole world saw that. Hangman's new net breaker. And he goes for the pin like he should. Two. Whew. Stomach claw. Come on, Contessa. Get over there. I know I'm not being unbiased, but man, I am not a fan of Ralph. You know, he. Whew. Oh, collision. They're both down. Who's going to get up first? That's going to show a lot. Oh, she got up just a half before he did. So, oh, and then he just equaled that out. Fujiwara, he's been working on the arm. He's going for the payoff. Choke bomb. Another choke bomb. I'm going to do it until you're dead, probably. And he got her up. Two flex floats over, holds her down. Can she kick out? No! Damn it! And the winner of the match and new CR Fire Pro World Heavyweight Champion, Ralphman Boro Mata. Just talk to your trash, huh? Why, why can't you just win and, and be alright? <sighs> okay. Alright, he won. He got the title back. The Underbridge got belts, but they're not tag belts, and they are at rank one in the tag team division. So, it is what it is. They didn't earn that rank one, really, but hey. So, crown the new champion.
and let's roll. The following contest is for the CR Fire Pro Road Tag Team Championship. Making their way to the ring, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance, Kaiji and Muto Turco, TDWA. The current reigning and defending CR Fire Pro Road Tag Team Champion. Representing Jail Without Order, Sweet Rock, and G Rock, Ray W.O. Rock. Referee for this match, Cherry. All right, uh, man, Ecuador held on to his title. Ice lost her title. Not happy about that at all. I mean, at all. Um, but Soul Collectors, they won. They they defeated Malfeasance, and because they defeated Malfeasance, Malfeasance is no longer on TV. You know, yes to that JWO so we're ranked three JWO they're ranked two rank one is the unabridged Ecuador Lobro and Ralph Navarro Mata and that's because JWO and Malfeasance was like at each other's throats so much that they made a, a, a general term uh, an agreement you know if JWO loses then Malfeasance any team on, uh, they can put above them on the road automatic and then on but if Malfeasance lost then on TV any JWO team could be uh, at rank one over them just automatic and so for this I mean it was really no matter who won JWO won because even though the unabridged were ranked well they got ranked one after the loss JWO lost still they couldn't get the title shot then they had to wait JWO had a small tiny agreement with the sisterhood which was they were they had more of an opportunity to um, climb the ranks on the road so they weren't going to try to do anything and they weren't going to do anything on TV either so it favored the sisterhood and you know malfeasance they 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 lost they lost the belts and but they kept it on tv i mean it was just so simple jwo just lured them in and just said hey no matter who wins and then find out jwo even take the match mad about that but JWO is known for doing, at points, little crap like that. So, you know, it's, I told, I had to calm Stout down. She was losing her collective mind. Oh, come on now. That's my boy. You can't be kicking him in the boys. Missed out backbreaker. And she's like, slam you. Kaijin and I, we had a straight up brutal match against Malfeasance. Maybe that softened them up against Soul Collectors. Who knows? I'll just I'll just say we did. I'll just say we did. Kaijin trying to help, but Turk is in the world of hurt right now. And it's it's, it's crazy. So far. No matter what, Team DWA, if we ever get a chance to, to wrestle JWO Rock, we don't win. And it's aggravating. But we're up here, you know, got a fire lit up under us. We're going to take things steadily and, and try to get this win. You know, just that's the idea. But JWO Rock, very clever. They know how to work together. They, they get each other out the fire. Double clothesline. So we, we we're just gonna hope. 
you know, wrestle, wrestle, wrestle our game, our skill, you know, uh, appeal to our strengths and hope that it's enough. Double suplex to the outside, Sweet Rock go. And G-Rock coming over to help his sister like he should. And he and I keep tying up. I don't know why. Stomping. Okay, I'm like, please don't let me stay outside that ring and get a count out like we did so, so long ago. It was on TV and it was on the other side of the ring. Uh, this side. And just, I just fought. Count out. Cost us dearly. Double suplex to the outside. And Sweet Rock got that front net lock. And Jerry, what you got the chair for, man? Yeah, Kaijin, yeah, he bailed out quick like he should. It was like, what in the world was up with the chair? And G Rock don't need, ooh, Taser Chop by Turkey. Double team, nope. G Rock was off that double team. JWO Rock, they're the first road tag team champions. Major tournament. Um, this predates retribution, sisterhood, predates reality, but they're the first. And Sweet Rock filling her oats, and after after the ball, she just placed on Turkey. It makes sense. Elbow to the back, and caught that. Yep, low kick, mid kick. And elbow to the back. Kai just trying to make a tag. That's that's one thing he's gonna, he's gonna have to make a tag. Sweet Rob makes the tag. Kai just not making the tag. You must know Turkey's beat up and just popping him in the face. Good grief, won't go stop. And kick Turk off the of Sweet Rock. Kaijin got that hip control on G-Rock. As we drag the screw, makes the tag. G-Rock wards off that double team. Ooh, he got popped. G-Rock got popped. Off those ropes, slashing elbow by Turka. And G-Rock makes the tag. And he got popped. G Rock with the elbow stab to the back of the neck. G Rock snap suplex. G Rock drags Turk away from the ropes. G Rock with the knee to the growing. And then G Rock with the multiple stomps to the face of Muto Turka. The sleeper choke by Turk on Sweet Rock. G Rock breaks it up. Man, at soup, that package suplex. Shiny Wizard by Turka, Rolling Knee Bar by Kaiju. Got the knee. Dragon screw. Makes the tag. Popped in the face with the show tays and got the elbow to the back of the neck. Kaiju saves. Hop to the top, rolling. And I messed it up. I got the sleeper choke, but I messed that rolling leg drop up. That rolling guillotine drop. That just that hurt my partner, but how much? I hope I hope, I hope it's not too bad. It, oh, it must have been bad. He made the tag. Double suplex on Sweet Rock. Low kick, punch, low kick, punch, low kick. Bro, he missed something. Basement drop kick by Turka. In our corner, Scorpion Deathlock. Kaijin in the fence. And then he surrenders. He surrenders. Yo, where's the match? It new Shaw Fire Pro Road Tag Team Champions. It's Team DWA. Yes. We did it. We did it. Awesome. 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 Didn't see it coming.
Yes, I was sitting there, I'm commentating, I'm like, man, how are they going to kill us? That's all I was thinking, how are they going to kill us? But we won. <laughs> man, I hope we can keep them for a while. That'd be nice. But hey, it's, it's been a day. I've got to put all this together. So look, this has been Cedric for CR Wrestling, CR Wrestling Commentary, CR Fire Pro, CR Fire Pro Road, Peyton Agony Wrestling, all that good stuff down in the description below. Check them out. Check out my podcast. It's on Spreaker and other places where you can find whatever you want to listen to your podcast is there. Um, so, yeah, with that said, let's crown the new Road Tag Team Champion. And with that said, good night, everybody. <laughs>